Bench 4K TV and stand, all for only $16.99.99 or $129.99 a month. Or get this nine-piece living room and reclining sofa and reclining love seat, now only $19.99.99 or $149.99 a month. These packages are amazing. Stop in today at one of our five locations and get the furniture you've always wanted at Circuit World.
uh, welcome to uh, the uh, K-1 Super Bowl for the Mountain Athletic Association. Um, we got Pickens County and Union County playing in the Super Bowl. We got Pickens County starting off with the ball first. Um, Union County is in the black and Pickens County is in the green. First play of scrimmage. Wow. Quarterback keep to the right side. Um, and that's what you're going to see a lot of in this K-1 is boundary to boundary uh, football playing. Uh, running the ball, sideline to sideline. Um, it's either going to be a defensive battle or you're going to see a lot of points because these little guys, it's hard for them to keep up sideline to sideline. Uh, and uh, just to introduce us, uh, I'm uh, Josh Rogers. A lot of people call me, but Jolly. Um, then I got Maddie Anglin to my uh, right here. She's going to be helping call the game today with me. Maddie? Maggie, thank Maggie. you. Maggie, I, I apologize, Maggie. No, it's okay. It's okay. We just met about five minutes ago. Yeah. So. Happy to be here. All right, looks like... Pickens is going quarterback, keep it. They got a big opening, one man to beat. Ooh. Looks like he's going. I don't see any flags yet. Does he have enough gas? Yes, he does. Pickens County with six points on the board already. Union's really got to keep an eye out for that. Yes. Um, now, Union County, my youngest place, K-1 football, and uh, we actually drew Union County last week, and they are very tough defensively. So uh, I think that coach will probably be able to make some adjustments to keep it from sideline to sideline. Yeah. Um, just to give everybody a kind of thing about K-1 football, um, there's no kickoffs, and it appears right here on this play that Pickens County is going for two. Mm -hmm. So anytime they run from the five-yard line on an extra point, it's just a two-point conversion. And he looks like he's got the corner. And Pickens will take an early lead of eight to nothing. All right, we're going to go to commercial real quick, and we'll get back with you um, and resume the play. Uh -huh. All right, welcome back to the action. Um, now we got Union County lining up um, to see what kind of uh, offense they're going to come out with. Um, it's like they're getting ready for play. Um, with these age groups, it's the coaches are on the field and lining players up. Oh, Ooh. big hit in the backfield. Taken down almost immediately. And fans, please excuse us. Uh, it is hard with these little kids to see the numbers, but I believe that is number 22 playing safety for Pickens County. Number 22, Hunter Hayes. Hunter Hayes. Hunter Hayes, Hayes introduces himself in the backfield, gives the quarterback a uh, business card to let him know who he was. <laughs>
quarterback keep look like oh. up the middle and right away zero yards stuffed it looked like uh he the the kid had a a move and then come back inside and he got trapped this now we're sitting at third down and 12 and uh now, I was going to give you a little bit of recap on K-1. You got two coaches on the field. One's lining them up. One's giving the plays and adjustments and all this other stuff. It takes a little longer for um, K-1 to get set up. Um, so, the defense, there's no blitz and you can't line up over center. And uh, here in a minute, if we don't convert, and I'll explain to you how that operates too. All right, it's got a little bit of a crease Ooh. and – Ball is loose. All right. All right. Union County actually uh, turns the ball over to Pickens County with some excellent field position around the uh, 27, 26 yard line. Well, the marker, he, the guy can't make up his mind whether he wants to be on 26 <laughs> or 27. All right. So, first and 10 for Pickens County, uh, 27 yard line. I think it's pretty clear from the start. Union County is going to have to make some major adjustments Absol offensively. Absolutely. I'm not sure if the run game is going to work as well against Pickens. Seems to take them down quite easily for them. Yeah, and uh, a lot of what you'll realize quick, especially in this game, a lot of times the person that can get to the outside is going to win. Mm -hmm. um, the name of the game in K-1 a lot of times is your best players are going to put them at the corners and okay. not get burned. But Pickens County, they got, they're got stiff. Oh, we got a little bit of a reverse action. Nope. He kept it. And got about two yards on the play. And like you just said, he went around. Mm -hmm. Didn't try to bother going through the middle. Yeah. Um, the the middle in K one it, it gets really congested. Yeah. Um, not a lot of holes open up. You don't have a lot of blocking schemes. Um, yeah. It's a little advanced for this age group. So mm -hmm. it's the get in front of the guy and block him, and hopefully get to the edge. County come out in the quad set. Quarterback trying to bounce, and he does. He gets the corner crashing in Ooh. and gets a first down, touchdown saving tackle. Number 12, he, uh, Jake, Jake and Wright made a touchdown saving tackle. Just seeing the quarterback had the corner, had the edge, and He's going in for another six points. Ooh, hitting Ooh. the backfield, slowed him down. Uh, the quarterback's still able to get approximately three yards or two yards on the play. Um, big, big, big stop for Union County right there um, to bring up a second long situation. Now, did you say that Pickens has a play where they will kind of toss the ball? Yes, they do have some passing. Okay. Um, uh, th that's not something that you're going to normally see in K1 football, but yeah, um, they they've got they've got some tricks that they'll use, and um, they are not scared to pass the ball <laughs> whatsoever. Oh. Got some laundry on the field. No False start against, start against the Pickens. We'll back them up five. This could be the chance for Union to try to get back in this game defensively absolutely and uh i don't i don't know how much it affects k1 football but a lot of times once you get inside the red zone or inside the 20 your offensive game plan shrinks a little bit because mm -hmm. you don't have as much room in front of you to work with um i don't see that being the case especially since there's not going to be a strong passing game yeah but um 
right now it's just a uh, it's a chess match between the coaches of of what's going to work the best. Mm -hmm. kind of stuck in the middle there yeah and I, I if you look at that what the Pickens County coach done on that play particularly is that Union County has spread their defense a little bit wider mm -hmm. trying to stop that corner and uh, the Pickens coach try to catch them sleeping and try to take it up the middle a lot of times once you spread that defense out you can take the ball up the middle and really get some yards yeah Quarterback keep to the outside. He's got the edge. They He's got one him. man to beat, and he goes into the end zone untouched. They have got to lock down on that quarterback, or else he'll just run him the whole game. Yes, and uh, you know what? I just finished up coaching the fifth grade uh, group, and. Mm -hmm. And much of the year I called the offense, and that was my philosophy. If something's if something's working, keep going to it, and it until it's yeah until it stopped. So um, Union County's got to figure out how to wait, make it stop. And it looks like Union County is going for two again. And here's the end around. He's got the corner. He's got the edge. And wide open. Yes, and it is conversion is good. I think the scoreboard, the operator scoreboard's having a little bit of a issue with the scoreboard, um, <laughs> and it is uh, 16 to nothing. There we go. Uh, Pickens County. So um, already we're back at ready for play. Got Union County. They've got to come up with something, mm -hmm. or this game can get out of control in a hurry, especially scoring two touchdowns within the first quarter. Yes. appears that there was some movement on the play and we're going to have a false start on Union County something that they absolutely do not Ooh. need at this moment Ooh. having to back up around five yards yep so you're at a first and 15 um, it's always you know, they're not having the best offense to start anyways, but now they're having to start behind the chains at a first and 15. That's that a lot of times that's right off the bat. That is a drive killer. And that's dangerous, especially since the last couple plays, Pickens just destroyed them in the backfield. Absolutely. Looks like we got quarterback Ooh. keep. He's got a little bit of room. Matt. Keeps going. Huge first down run of approximately 10 yards. Um, and please forgive us, these Union County numbers are difficult to see. Um, they've got black jerseys and it appears to have black or purple <laughs> numbers with a gold trim. So it's very difficult to see from our, where we're sitting, but we're going to try to uh, do the best we can. Yes. All right, so that was a huge run right there. We're sitting at a second five, much more manageable than a first and 15. Um, if they can get two to three yards at the very minimum right mm -hmm. here, it's going to help out a lot. And he's got the corner. He's got the first down. No laundry. He's going. He just busted one. Running for his oh, life. Oh, wow. Yeah, tracked down at the last <laughs> second at the 14-yard line. Wow. 
I'm not good at math, but I think he just got him about a 40-yard run, first and first and 10 from the 14-yard line, and all of a sudden, Union County's got some life. Wow. Great job from Union's quarterback, staying on his feet, staying steady. But that Pickens guy came out of nowhere. Yeah, and that Pickens County team, they've got a lot of speed. They do, yes. I'm hearing a lot of encouragement from the crowd today, even with this gloomy weather. Yeah, I don't know. Is the rain? Oh, and we are at the end of the first quarter. Time for a water break and maybe a snack break from these kids, and we're going to commercial. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. We're going to get started with the second quarter right here. Uh, Union County has the ball. They're threatening as first and 10 from the 15-yard line. And suddenly it's looking a little more even of a ball game today. Oh, yeah. Quarterback keep. Oh, he's running into some little traffic, but he might have the corner. He's at the 10 Ooh. and gets knocked down about the 9. Now, both these teams have come to play. Right now, Pickens County, they're playing very physical right now. Yeah, that was Knox Minton from Pickens County with the tackle. Quarterback keep, oh, almost got caught behind. And he's going to be brought down around the seven-yard line. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Pickens County or Union County uh, can maybe do something right here and at least convert so that continue the game and uh, to stay in involved and – I mean, Union is just keep get inching closer and closer to the end zone. Yeah, I tell my boys all the time during practice, only thing I need is three and a half yards a carry. If you can mm -hmm. give me three and a half yards a carry, we're moving the ball. Um, one thing that Union County is doing right here that I think is pretty smart, they're burning a lot of clock because yeah. they know that it's going to be dangerous to have the allow Pickens the ball. Yes. Number one with the keep. He's got the corner with the stiff arm. <laughs> Touchdown, Union County. Don't see any flags. Great run from number one, John Patrick Wagner. Seen him as a huge asset so far. Absolutely. I think them Union kids got a little excited. I, I think we caught a peak of Santa Claus at the end of the Lumpkin Tunnel yeah. down there. And I think they was wanting to get a little bit closer to him. <laughs> 
That was quite the incentive right there. That's right. It appears that Union County is lining up for the extra point. They're going to go for one. Um, I think that possibly uh, going for the one, they're just trying to cut into the lead a little bit at this point. Mm -hmm. And he has converted. Wow, the middle of the field opened up. And he converted, so now it is a nine-point ball game. All of a sudden, it's still a two-possession game. Um, Union County needs a huge stop right here mm -hmm. in order to stay in the game because what's going to happen here in a little bit once – Halftime comes whenever third quarter settles down. Pickens looks like they have realized that Union County is going to stick around for a little bit. Now, Pickens County has got a deadly offense. So, if they score right here and bring it back, you know, back into a, or even a three-possession game, I see Pickens County really slowing down the offense to yeah. eat up some clock. Yeah. So in K-1 football, you probably noticed they're just starting off at the 30. They do not use a kickoff at any part of the game. Now, when we get into the next game, second grade and stuff, they will kick off at the halves. Okay. Um, not between each possession, but in K-1, they'll start off at the 30 every time. Um, we have not seen any punts yet. But if we do see a punt, the coach will declare a punt and the officials will walk it off, I think. I think it's 30 yards that they walk it off hmm. whenever they declare a punt. Okay. And for Pickens right now, they've got to keep in their mind that it's an even ball game, that they're not ahead mm -hmm. in order to keep the momentum going. Yeah, they got they got essentially – oh, Ooh. big hit in the backfield. I believe that was 13 for Union. Samuel Plot with the tackle. Actually, that was number 14, Josiah uh, Wright or Josh. And please forgive me if any of his family is uh, watching, but I believe it's Josiah Wright is the pronouncing on that. Yeah. But, um, huge tackle from him. So, much like a minute ago, now Pickens County is behind the chains, but they're at a second down. I want to see how aggressive that Union County stays right here. Yeah. Uh, dialing up some pressure. Um, I don't know if they need to dial it up too much because at 22, he looks a little slippery, so he may. <laughs> trying that middle run, and it's approximately four yards on the play. Third down, Pickens has got to make something happen right here. Yeah, absolutely. If uh, Union County right now, uh, what Union County is trying to do, they, I believe they've got all three timeouts left, both teams do. Mm -hmm. And uh, Pickens County is probably wanting to kill the clock a little bit. And Union County, they want to conserve as much clock as they can because they want to try to punch one in in the end zone with four minutes left to go until half to bring the game within a reason, reasonable score. Yeah. Um, right now it looks like Union County probably should have went for two on that one, but totally understand early in the game why you would still go for one. Oh, we got a flag on the play. I believe that was a delay of game penalty on Pickens County. Now, what the Pickens County coaches got to be careful about is once the coaches have set their players, um, that coach is supposed to get 10 yards back and not have any communication. And I saw right at the end of that play right there, he comes up and does something. 
If they are flagged for communicating with the players, that is an automatic 15-yard penalty. Ooh. As you see the coaches dropping back now, Yeah. at this point, they're not allowed to talk to the players. Ugh. Ooh, the corner gets sealed right there. Just missed him. Oh, I think he stepped out of bounds around the 38-yard line. And that is going to be fourth down. So that was a huge run for Pickens County. But it shows you how far they've backed up because um, now they're at a uh, fourth and four or fourth and three rather or four and two. I uh, see. I can't do math now. <laughs> so what's Pickens? It looks like they're going to go for it. And if I was Pickens County, I don't know that I'd make any difference because their offense up to this point has been electric. It looks like uh, Union's lining up in uh, 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 defensive stance. It's going to bring some pressure, and they do. Uh, he's close. Missed the tackle. He got the first. First and down. First and ten. It looks like we've got a Union County player down. He hops up fast. With 3.30 to go. See if Pickens can get another touchdown before the end of this half. Yeah, I think I think they're really trying to do some clock management here. You got three minutes, 30 seconds. They want to score, but I do not believe they want to score and leave very much time for Union County to put a drive together. Yeah. So what they'll, I think what they'll probably do is run some clock down, um, pull out some tricks, call a timeout or two to try to uh, eat as much clock up as they can. Just keep dragging it on. That's right. Uh, if you've seen just then, the Pickens coach is standing right beside the uh, white hat, the head official. He wears a white hat, so they're commonly referred to as the white hats. But he's standing beside the official in the – Officials doing a countdown. He takes it down to the last second they could before getting a delay of game. Um, exactly what they're trying to do, which is really smart, being up by nine mm -hmm. to go into half. Um, and I cannot remember. I should have wrote it down, wrote me a note. Did uh, did Pickens start off with the ball? Or was that – I believe it was Pickens. I think it was too, yeah. Uh, so when we come out of half, I believe that uh, – Union County should have the ball, and uh, I think that Pickens County, that's the reason why. They want to kill some clock right now, but they also want to get punch one in the end zone if they can, um, especially if uh, Union County comes back out and they have put together offensive drive like they had just a minute ago. Yeah. Now, it looks like that coach, he's, he's going to have oh. to make some movement and hurry it up because time's going to start running away. All right. So, we got a quarterback draw right up the middle, and he's met by a host of mm -hmm. Union County Panthers with a – appears to be about a six-yard gain on the play. About four or five left for the first down. You know, I'm surprised we haven't had many bad snaps that have turned into fumbles, especially with this weather. Yeah. Ball's got to be really slippery. Um, it is. And I saw a Pickens County coach a minute ago walking around with a towel mm -hmm. um, with the football wrapped up in it. Now, these kids, I mean, they may be five and six years old, but they practice three to four times a week. Mm -hmm. And so they, they're getting pretty good at it. Yeah. Looks like another – uh, QB keep up the middle enough for – or it's going to be close to a first down. And uh, line judges indicating first down and 10 as we go into the final two minutes of the first half. And at this point it appears that if, if, if Union would have stopped them on that first one, they would have probably burned some timeouts. But – I think at this point Union's probably okay going into half. Yeah. Um, they just want to play good defense, keep everything in front of them right here, and not give up anything. Q 
QB keep. Oh. Got a move. He's got one man to beat. Yeah. He cuts inside of him. Good block downfield. And it looks like, yes, another touchdown for the Pickens County Dragons. I mean, there was a gap just wide open. And you can't have those small things because especially with this Pickens quarterback, he'll take off and he'll leave everyone else behind. Yeah, one thing I've noticed about that Pickens County quarterback, he shows a lot of patience while running the ball, allowing his blocks to get set up to where he can make those moves and get downfield in a hurry. And it appears that uh, Pickens County is trying to put the dagger in it going for another two-point <laughs> conversion. And like you said, that patience is super important as he mm -hmm. moves up levels, get into middle school, high school. Mm -hmm. And it looks like 22 with the ball again, keeping it, and launches itself into the end zone. And that was Ian King for the extra point. And with three two-point conversions, I mean, you're, you're looking at another touchdown right there <laughs> by itself. And as they line up to change possession, I want to uh, – think that Union County is probably going to dig deep right here, maybe a reverse or something that ha they haven't showed yet this season, um, try to get a quick score before half to uh, bring it within um, 10, hopefully, mm -hmm. or back to nine if they go for a two-point conversion. But you got to think right here in this situation, they really they got all three timeouts left. They've got to uh, find something to get on the board at this point in the game. Oh, he got the corner. Made a man miss. Wow. And with a huge, huge 20-yard run, it's going to be a first and down and 10. Uh, the clock will stop on the first down. If you're in um, an Union County situation right now, do you just hurry up and try to get another touchdown? Or are you going to drag it on and no, then hope to have the possession in the next half? Um, at this point, um, so the clock just started running again. This is where the clock management has to pay – they have to pay attention. Mm -hmm. Which they stopped it. Um, on first down, the, the clock is supposed to stop. But um, in this situation, you got to put your foot on the throttle and go as fast as you can because um, you cannot waste any time. Yeah. And it looks like it's coming back. I saw what appeared to be holding from the uh, right guard down there. Um, so that is, that will stop the clock momentarily. But you're instead of a first and 10, you're going to be looking at a first and 20. They're going to be kind of back where they was. And uh, that, that really hurts. It stops the clock momentarily. But um, anytime in this situation, that's the last thing you want to do is give up a bunch of yards. Mm-hmm. Moving back quite a bit. This could be detrimental towards Union County. Especially um, in a time crunch situation. Yeah. And Union County right now is calling a timeout because holding can be a drive killer. If, if you look at the field and look how far um, the markers are away from each other, you can actually see, you know, 10 yards – um, for a kid this age is a lot of yards to pick up anyways, but yeah. then you double that just to get to a first down, um, it's going to be uh, difficult. But we've also seen this Pickens County offense and the Dragons offense. If you can hit that corner, you can pick up a whole lot of yards in a hurry. Yeah. And this is where Union has to be explosive on this play right here. 
Absolutely, and this is uh, one of those things where they may have to dig into the bag of tricks that I was talking about mm -hmm. just a couple minutes ago to uh, get something going. And as the coach lines them up, um, if you notice, when them, like the um, Pickens County coaches, they've already stepped back. They've got their players set. Now unions start stepping back. And now it's all up to the players. Coaches can't say nothing to them. I have a quarterback Ooh. keep. He's wrapped oh. up in the backfield, and he's going to take another loss. This Pickens defense has been – Great these past couple plays, but Union has got to keep their head up, and know that they are still in this ball game. Absolutely, and now the uh, the Union County coach is up against a decision because you are 53 seconds away from um, halftime. You're second in a mile, and then you've got to you got to make a decision right here. You can't turn the ball over because you're going to give. Uh, Pickens County, the ball with just under a minute, and as explosive as they are, they could score in a hurry. Yeah. So if they can't get something positive going on this, they've got one timeout left. But if they can't get something positive on this, you're at a third down situation. It may be best just to go to half at that point. Ooh, oh. met in the backfield. Number 38, Colt, what was it, Colt Estes? Estes, I believe. Estes, he came in and made a huge hit. And now wow. Pickens County is using their timeouts uh, because they see an opportunity here because Union County, short of a miracle, they've got, to, they've got a long way to go to even convert. So um, the best thing in this situation could be if they could get some yardage to where if they have to get in a punting situation, at least uh, they're uh, giving up some yards. But at 36 seconds, I don't see why it would be an issue for Pickens. Pickens County can absolutely probably take Union County out of this game in yeah. a hurry. And especially they still have almost 80 yards left to go <laughs> until mm -hmm. they reach their end zone. Union County, it looks like he's trying that middle game again, and he's going to get approximately six to seven yards. And Pickens County burns a timeout with 24 seconds. And as a coach, I always – I always go back whenever I watch my game film or anything. There's always lessons learned. And I've got a feeling that Union County coach here in a little <laughs> while, when he goes back, he's going to be really upset with himself. Oh, um, yeah. He's got um, – he, he's already frustrated now. But um, right now is the time where he's going to have to be encouraging and, and and let his kids know, hey, we're still in this game at halftime. we got to make some adjustments. But the uh, – I got a feeling this clock management is going to it's going to keep him up tonight. Yeah. Now, the Union County coach, I believe he's doing something pretty smart right here. Um, if they turn the ball over right here, Pickens County is going to have to drive at that 35 yards. But what Union County right here is doing now is they're trying to eat up some clock so it's mm -hmm. a little bit more difficult for uh, Pickens to go. And the Dragons are going to have approximately 16 seconds to uh, score. I'm noticing with Union County, whenever the quarterback tries to go around the outside, the coverage from his teammates is just not there. 
Well, right now Pickens is doing a great job. They're, the, it appears they're sending their outside linebacker um, to the edges along with the, the corner from Pickens is doing a great job at sealing that edge and not allowing – he's turning the quarterback back towards the middle of the field and uh, his defen the defense is cleaning up once he gets turned into the middle of the field. All right, and here's that pass. Oh. oh, man, just a little short. Um, that was a great call by Pickens County because you – burns three seconds. you got 13 seconds left. You're still at second and ten, but it's a great call because it's, if he catches it, probably got a first down or a touchdown. He didn't have anybody behind him. Um, but if he drops it, it's an incomplete pass. And when Pickens, a team, is brave enough to throw it like that, that makes them super dangerous offensively. Absolutely, it does. You have to be ready for just anything. And here comes that uh, end around. And I think uh, Union County has gotten used to that end around. And uh, so it looks like we're going to go to half right here. And uh, so far, we got a great game. And uh, Pickens County's up 24 to seven, and uh, look forward to a great halftime show with the cheerleaders, I believe. Yeah. All right. This time, I believe we're going to. Uh, watch the cheerleaders do their halftime performance and once the cheerleaders are finished with their halftime performance we'll go to a short break and uh be back for the second half
B&M Metals has been serving the Southeast for almost 50 years. From metal roofs and panels to gutters and metal accessories, B&M Metals is your one-stop shop for all things metal. They pride themselves on providing great service and quality at a competitive price. Give B&M Metals a call at 706-864-6068 or visit them at 6195 Highway 52 East in Murrayville or at bmmetalroofing.com. B&M Metals, protecting everything that matters to you most. At Circuit World, we offer a wide selection of major appliances, name brands like Whirlpool, LG, Frigidaire, and more. Looking for furniture? Come by and browse our showroom or check out the Endless Aisle, a touchscreen kiosk with thousands of options. Need electronics? Gaming computers, laptops, desktops, tablets, we have it all. OLED or QLED, 4K or high def, we have the selection to get you the TV of your dreams. And don't forget, at Circuit World, your credit is always good. So ask about our convenient payment options and 120 days, same as cash. Come see us today at one of our five Five area locations. For more than 60 years, you've trusted Dave Chevrolet in Jasper. You've come to know our family and allowed us the opportunity to serve yours with dignity and respect. And today, as we celebrate four generations of family ownership, we just wanted to say thank you for your support. Dave Chevrolet in Jasper, proud to be your North Georgia Mountain Chevy dealer. Find new roads. Play Chevrolet. Plays gets it done. The only thing bigger than our Silverado inventory is the discount of up to $5,000 off brand new 2023s at Day Chevrolet Jasper. Up to $5,000 off on Silverado 1500s. The Chevy truck you want. The savings you can't resist. Up to $5,000 off Silverado 1500s at Day Chevrolet Jasper. Play Chevrolet. Find new roads. Are you looking for expertly decorated gifts you'll love with your custom designer logo? Graphic Expressions in Blue Ridge is your go-to place for custom apparel, accessories, gifts, and much more. Graphic Expressions is located at 3640 East 1st Street in Blue Ridge, or give them a call at 706-946-4605. Graphic Expressions, unrivaled customer service, Pure brand awesomeness. Circuit World has nine piece living room packages at incredible prices. Get the stylish sofa and love seat, three tables, two lambs, 43 inch 4K TV, and stand, all for only $16.99.99 or $129.99 a month. Or get this nine piece living room and reclining sofa and reclining love seat, now only $19.99.99 or $149.99 a month. All right, welcome back to the second half of this game. Uh, it looks like Union will start off with the ball um, and try to get back into this game a little bit. Let's see what kind of halftime adjustments were made. We saw a pretty slow start from Union um, at the beginning of this game, and I'm interested to see how they can improve and be explosive from here on out. Yeah, me too. Um, a lot of times, uh, and it looks like, ooh. oh, he's got the corner. Oh. He's got the first down. It looks like uh, the coach's talk at halftime really helped out. <laughs> a lot of times whenever it, it's a deficit like that, it's hard mentally to get the kids back in the yeah. game. But so far, Union County with that first, uh, that first carry, they look like they're um, not ready to – Throw the towel in just yet. And especially with this age group, if they just start to have a mental block, like it's hard to get past that wall. Yes. And I'm sure the weather plays a role in it. Mm -hmm. I know if I was six years old, I probably would not want to be freezing yeah. right now. Me too. They're soaking wet. Even though I think uh, the rain is supposed to kind of clear out here in just a little bit. Um, I think it's going to be overcast the rest of the day, but hopefully it'll clear out. And as we go, Ooh. quarterback keep to the right side. He's Stays made on his two feet. people miss. He's got the corner. Huge, huge run for Union County of about 17 yards. 
seconds. He is forced out of bounds there towards the end. He had one to beat, and that kid was able to get him out of bounds without giving up that touchdown. Good job, Pickens County, to be in the right area to minimize the damage. But Union County, great job getting that corner and getting that huge run. And that is just what Union County needs to put a little pep in their step right here. Absolutely. I mean, it's a, uh, essentially a three-possession game right now. Um, and Union cannot afford to waste an opportunity. And they've got to put their foot on the gas pedal. Quarterback keep to the left side this time. So he got it around the edge, and it looks like he's got the corner. Jeez. Still a four-yard gain on that. Um, very successful play. Um, just my concern would be if I'm in Union County, does my kids have the conditioning to run sideline to sideline? Because it seems like they found a weakness in the defense of Pickens. Pickens, I noticed – like four or five guys were just immediately over there tracking the ball. Yeah, the, it, the coaches will give them certain things and tell them what to look out for uh -huh. with formations. Yeah. And this is where, you know, Union County may be able to throw something in there that Pickens County has not seen yet. Yeah. But depending on the play. Oh, we got a big run up the middle. The official may have gotten his way and slowed him down. Uh, to get tackled, but another huge gain and a first down and 10 for Union County. And they were moving the ball down the field. Chipping away with 529 left on the clock. Yeah, it's hard to uh, – these eight-minute quarters as a coach is difficult sometimes because you – you don't really uh, – a, a drive can kill a quarter. Yeah. So, you know, three – the quarter is nearly halfway done now, and we're still on our first possession. So, you, you can see coming out of halftime how important these possessions are going to be for Union County. Quarterback keep up the middle again. Looks like he's got a positive gain, still grinding it out for about four and a half to five yards. Or actually about three yards, I guess. There's a second down and about six to go. But going back to what you said um, just a little while ago, you have to be so strategic with the clock. Yes, absolutely. Is what I'm starting to notice here. It's a yeah. big part of the game. Oh, he's got the corner. He made a move. He's got the edge, got the stiff arm. He's at the 20. Oh. Makes a move inside at the 15. Down around the 12-yard line, another huge run by one. And that's going to be John Patrick Wagner. Almost duked a guy out down there by the 10. I mean, this John Patrick Wagner kid in the offseason might need to be running some cross country because that kid has some lungs <laughs> on him. He has been running and running and running. So if you've got any family listening, go ahead and sign up for some cross country yeah. because you're, you've got some great conditioning, kid. Line up and it looks like Wagner with the ball again. He's got the corner. He's got – Holds it. Oh. Stutter steps and steps out of the bound about the six-yard line, which will stop the clock. Union County so close to getting their second touchdown of the day today. Yeah, and uh, right now the star of the show is uh, – uh, Wagner, mm -hmm. um, he's really put the team on his back, and he's 
he, he, he's still in belief that they are very much in this game. Um, right now is uh, they're they got to cut into this def deficit, but the clock is running against them right now. They they're, they're going to have to uh, get a quick score right here. At the six, he's trying to stretch it out. He made he made it past one. Makes a move. Keeps makes going. another move, and he's going to be oh. brought down around the four, three or four yard, three yard line. So it's actually going to be third and one. They can get a first down um, before they get to the goal line. So if they can get at least get one yard right here, which it looks like we got a player down down there. I'm not sure if it's Union or Pickens. Just yet. It looks it's like a, a Pickens, Pickens County. Pickens, County. Yeah. Might just have a little leg cramp or something. Looks like he's just being oh yeah stretched out. Is there another one down down there? Mm. Oh, it looks like it. Yeah, uh, maybe they collided or something. I see. Oh, yeah, both of them's up. Oh, one well. of them carried off the field. Oh, both, both of them. Both of them are carried <laughs> off the field now. <laughs> well. I'm sure they're probably cold and and wet and they probably let them be carried. <laughs> they're putting in the work, so maybe uh, the coaches are putting a little work uh, now and carry them off the field. <laughs> All right, now we're back at action. Looks like uh, Union County's lining up to hopefully uh, punch one in. Oh, quarterback, the snap was good. Quarterback tried to start off before the ball was in his hands, it looks like. Got a little excited. And uh, we'll have another crack at it. But the scary thing is, is they got to get four yards right here or Pickens County is going to have, what, 94 yards to drive. So uh, it's all or nothing right here. I got a feeling that. You know, th this is a make it or break it moment for Union County. Quarterback keep up the middle. Looks like he's got the first and a touchdown. Takes it into the purple. Great run from our number one, John Patrick Wagner, once again. The Pickens County defense, they've done a great job um, on that drive, trying to keep them out of the end zone. But I think Union County has found some success uh, running the ball around the edges and uh, – now uh, Union County will go for two. It's almost forced to, and to bring it back to a nine-point game if they convert. And it makes you think earlier when they did score that last touchdown, if they'd have went for two then, it would have been, you know, a one-possession game. Mm-hmm. Quarterback rolls, cuts, bounces again, Ooh. and he gets caught in right there at the line of scrimmage, and the extra point is no good. I believe that was number 22 from Pickens County, Hunter. Hayes Hunter, excuse me, mm -hmm. who took him down. So we're
Titans. Uh, if they go for two, you, you're looking at a 32-point, 32-13 game. And then it, with the time, it's going to be very difficult. But Union County, if they play strong right here, they're very much still alive and uh, they can win. Bit of a low snap right there to Pickens County and just gets completely caught up in the middle. Yeah, and uh, I believe what Pickens County is going to do right here um, with this possession, they could probably kill out the quarter. And uh, this, this is the point where Pickens County is wanting to eat up as much clock as possible. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, this 13 points, this, this Pickens County group has been extra special this year. They uh, – I think this is the most points they have allowed in a game all season, so uh, or as close to the most points they've allowed. So uh, uh, Union County's come to play. Yeah. Looks like we got some early movement. And props to Union because we had a bit of a slow start, but they have quickly adjusted and done what they needed to do in order to – catch up to this Pickens County's team. Oh, that the wasn't movement early is Union County is lined up in the neutral zone, so that is going to give Pickens um, five yards, Ooh. so closer to a first down. Yes, this game started out slow. Uh, what's impressed me most about Union County so far, they, they have zero quit in them. They're mm -hmm. not going to give up. They're not paying attention to the scoreboard. Uh, the co it seems like the coach has probably done a great job of telling them, hey, when we come out of half, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Yeah. And they uh, – so far they're answering the call, but this Pickens County team, they're tough. Mm -hmm. They're stingy on defense. And uh, and right now this may be the time where they start flexing the muscle and saying, hey, no, we are – we are it. Um, and it looks like he's got the first. He's got the corner. Got one man to beat. Looks like he's beating. And Pickens is going down to sc score yet Jeez. another touchdown. That was about 60-ish yards. Yes. For uh, a run. Uh, number 22, Pickens County. Uh, he's been an absolute beast. He's about like the one for Union County. He uh, When yeah. they need something to happen, 22's been there all day to uh, break out the big run. And he had plenty of gas left in him oh, yeah. to carry that ball all the way into the end zone. Uh, so uh, Pickens, uh, Pickens County, they look like they're going for one at this point in the game. Right now you're 17 points ahead. If you convert um, Union County in eight minutes and nine seconds, got to score three touchdowns just to tie the game. So I feel like uh, Pickens County, they're probably starting to get a little excited. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, which I'd be excited too. They have worked their butts off and, and uh, their work's paying off. Uh, number seven is uh, going out to the outside. He's got the corner all by himself and he converts. Good looking drive by Pickens County. Nine seconds left in the third um, quarter. It's going to be difficult for Union to get anything out of this right here. And I've got, uh, and I'll revisit the rules, but let's see here. We're at a, well, no, I think uh, <coughs> we're not quite at the running clock stage just yet. Um, but if there's another score, especially by Pickens County, uh, quick, it would be a uh, it'd be a running clock, and this would go by very, very fast. And at this point, I believe uh, Pickens County—they're probably 
you know, want to be stingy and, and, and that defense work hard, Ooh. and they do right there with a huge hit. The um, And I think Gilmer – or not Gilmer, I apologize. At the end of the quarter, Union County is uh, – Want to make it a little bit more respectable of a score. Mm -hmm. And uh, Pickens County is looking great. And I think we're going to go to a commercial break real quick. Um, get ready for the fourth quarter. We'll see you soon. All right, welcome back. Uh, start of the fourth quarter of an exciting ball game. It's been a kind of a one-way ball game, but very impressed with Union County not giving up and just playing hard the entire game. I think that toughness Union has showed has really helped them um, mentally get past through this game because Pickens has just been stomping on them repetitively, but. Absolutely, it, and and the mental toughness just going into second grade, they they will be a handful to deal with. In yeah. A huge run, right there, about 13 yards from Wagner, no other than Wagner himself, who's <laughs> had a game today. But carrying on into future with uh, Union County, they will be a force just because they've got oh, yeah. the mental toughness to stay in a game and play their best. And the older you get, that is really the deciding factor of a lot of games. Can you just push through, make it the best game, best outcome? Absolutely. And, and, and the coaches of Union County right now, the best thing they can do is just be encouraging to the kids and tell them, great job, don't give up, keep fighting, don't pay attention to the scoreboard. Yeah. Y'all are doing great. Quarterback keep again up the middle. He's got the first. He's got the corner. He's And he has enough gas. Uh, we got one Ooh. catching up to him. Looks like 22 who's been out there all day. Oh, and he beats wow. him to the end zone. Wow. Touchdown, Union County. Way to go. What a run. I and think that was number 12, Jack and Wright, with that touchdown. Yeah, it's uh, uh like we said earlier, it's hard to see the numbers on these kids, but that kid, he uh he gave everything he had because he's not he's walking back. He's a uh, hard to um that's a hard long run for a 6 7 year old kid. And even we saw Hayes Hunter Hayes coming down, tracking him. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, that that was a huge score. Uh, Union County has proved that do not take us out of the game yet. With a two-point conversion right here, you're at a ten-point ball game, mm -hmm. and they have to have a quick stop. I believe they've got all three timeouts left. But Union County's doing their best to stay in it and fight. Quarterback rolls out, cuts. He's got a corner. He's got the edge, and oh. it's going to be close. And no good. Wow. Just barely missed it right there for the extra point. So it's a 12-point ball game at this point. Um, 
So it's still very much alive, but right now the clock is going to be a huge enemy to Union County and Pickens County best friend. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, I look for Pickens County to really, if they get a quick score right here, you can go back and forth all day long and not eat up much clock. But I think Pickens County just kind of wants to get out of this thing now because they've realized that Union County has come to play. Yeah. And if they can get out of it in a hurry, you know, a couple of mistakes early on by Union County couldn't get a drive to going together. But now it may be a little too late, but they, they have found some success running the ball and uh, hopefully, uh, you know, carry that going on into the uh, following years from now. But they have absolutely come to play today, and it's great to see. Pickens County lines up, 22 rolls out. Looks like he, oh, stiff arm <laughs> to the face. Made a kid miss, and he is by Ooh. himself running once again. They had him in the backfield. Now nobody's within 20 yards of 22. Give him six points. Congratulations, to Mr. 22, for a huge day. Wow. I mean, that kid is fast. Just took off running without anybody. Now, if you like offense, this has definitely been the game to watch. Mm -hmm. I kind of expected a little bit more of a defensive battle after watching Union Dawson County last week of a 7 nothing ball game to all of a sudden they come into this game in a 37 19 ball game we've been uh we've been lucky early we've been, got to watch some great football already mm -hmm. quarterback rolls out oh he's got the corner he's got the extra point you score 38 19 I mean, the Union defense is there, but for some reason, Pickens just keeps slipping through and gaining yards. Or touchdowns, for that matter. Yeah, Union comes back out. They're kind of probably scratching their head a little bit like, golly, we cannot just break into this. But if you noticed, since that last touchdown, there's been maybe 20 seconds burned off the clock. So, you know, Union County, even though they've allowed another touchdown, if they can get another quick score, they're right back into it. So, um, I really expected Pickens County to kind of, you know, grind it out on that last one and get three or four yards of play and kind of kill some clock. But, you know, they, they want to score more touchdowns. So, <laughs> And I think Union County does too, so they act like it's not phasing them, and they're going to go back to work and try to cut back into this lead again. like he may have lost a little bit of yards on that one and I don't know if Pickens County Pickens County's may have uh adjusted defense a little bit not to give up that edge quite as fast as he's doing so now Union County coaches got to scratch their heads a little bit and try to come up with something to get another score Met in the mm -hmm. backfield in a hurry. Somebody missed an assignment somewhere. That was and ugly. 
Pickens County absolutely come in and stop that play before it even started. <laughs> that was two or three guys just boom suddenly. Pickens County is starting to taste that Super Bowl victory. They're getting, they're waking up, they're alive, they're excited, and they are ready to end this game. Right, we got an official timeout at the moment. Starting to see some Gilmer cheerleaders trickle in here. Yeah, they, it uh, looks like there's a lot of them. Yeah, sure is. Officials are talking to Pickens County coaches. Yeah, something was said. I, uh, still unclear. Maybe uh, I don't know if shoes were untied or coaches were having discussion about where they're going to eat lunch. But something was going on, and hopefully we can uh, get back to play here pretty soon. Mm. Looks like he kind of ran into his his own his own gun. guys. They couldn't they couldn't get out of their own way. Uh, it looks like Pickens County has really dialed up the pressure to uh, put the jet, uh, the nail in the coffin. Mm -hmm. um, So this next game we got coming up, we got second grade uh, Gilmer and Lumpkin. So it'd be mm -hmm. essentially a home game for Lumpkin. I'm sure the uh, crowd will start piling in soon. A lot of these families will come, and they'll just make a day out of it. Um, I don't know if everybody will do that today with the weather, but yeah. so far we've seen some exciting football and uh, hopefully continue to see some more exciting football throughout the day. Now, I think what has happened, Pickens County has declared the first punt of the day. So, uh, oh, the okay. officials walked the ball off. And uh, so, Pickens will get the ball at the 49 going the other way. And we got three minutes left to go there for a minute. I thought this quarter was going to last a while, the way they were scoring. But depending on what Pickens County does right here, um, we may have three minutes left to go till we see uh, Pickens be crowned with that championship. It looks like Pickens County may be uh, emptying the bench a little bit, letting some of the guys play that hadn't got much playing time today. So that's exciting to see. Yeah, that is always nice. Get him a little bit of experience. Now, what I expect to probably see right here is maybe that more clock killing mode of mm -hmm. running some middle plays and um, just running the clock out. Oh, Ooh, fumble. Balls down on the turf. And I believe Pickens County retained possession, but they will lose approximately three yards on the play. Other than uh, the quarterback taking off for Union that one time without the ball, we haven't seen the ball put on the turf a lot today. These kids have really – it's been impressive, actually, yeah. um, how well both teams have hung on to the ball not had a whole lot of turnovers in this weather. Because it was pouring earlier. Like, it right. was raining very hard. Had to have been extremely difficult. Oh, Pickens County has found a seam. Picked up some yards. 
And that was number three, Connor DeLong from Pickens County with that carry. That was a great run. I think that's the first time we've seen him run the ball today, actually. Yeah. And he makes a great run. So if he's a bench kid coming off the bench, he's got uh, – th that means their bench is pretty deep. <laughs> Looks like uh, there's a new runner running the ball. It looks like he's got enough for the first down. Can't quite make out his number just yet. No. Number 10. It's going to be Hudson Propes. Another great run. He's just short of the first down. I imagine, uh, let's see here. If they get the first down right here, they could probably take a knee and the um, and it'd be over with at that point. It's been a great game today. Both teams have competed so hard, and that's what you want to see, especially as a coach. Uh, even if you're on the losing side, it, it gives you some momentum going into the next year of how hard you competed. Yeah. Got the edge, got the first down, it appears good. Hard run, hard hit by Union County. All right, well, we're in the final 35 seconds, and I don't know that the officials will even blow it back in, or they'll wait until 25 seconds to blow it back in so that there's not a delay of game penalty. And... That should do it. Congratulations to the Pickens County Dragons. Yeah. K-1 Super Bowl champions of 2023. And what a game they have played. Props Let's to see. Union County as well for keeping up with them, staying on their toes. Up oh, there's a turnover for the final play that Union recovers as the clock hits zero. Congratulations, Pickens County Dragons. And the Union County Panthers for coming in and playing strong. Kept the, uh, steady on their feet. Oh, yeah. It's going to be uh, hard-pressed to match that game's energy from that. Yeah. Those K-1 kids really set the tone for the day to hopefully uh, have some great games for the rest of the afternoon. But we got approximately 30 minutes until our next game. We'll see you soon. These packages are amazing. Stop in today at one of our five locations and get the furniture you've always wanted at Circuit World.